Welcome to the Dice Tower, a series of video reviews about board and card games. Here are your hosts, Tom Vassell and Sam Healy. Hey folks, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Z Garcia. Hello. Sam Healy. What's up, y'all? Today we're taking a look at another game from Restoration Games, the company that is working uh, using Rob Davio, a great developer, bringing old games back. Now this game is not as old as the other two in the series. Well, actually, no, it is. It says for nearly 40 years. This game from uh, Wolfgang Kramer. Uh, it's... That man is eternal. Wow, 40 <laughs> years? How old is he? he might... 112. He designed his first game at the age of Okay, well, anyhow. Kramer came up with The Rock. <clears throat> anyway, this has been known as Top Race, Daytona 500, Cleveland Grand Prix. Now it's called Downforce. Downforce. I don't even know what that means. Downforce. The downforce exerted on a car by its fin. <sighs> that is correct. Really? Yes. Yeah. I learned something. Anyway, it's a racing game. It's a very light racing game of bidding, bluffing, and then racing. Here's how it plays. So there's going to be six cars in the race, and they're randomly placed on starting spots on the board. And each player is going to get a score sheet where they're going to be writing down different things about the game itself. And then the first thing you do each game is you auction off the cars. Now, before you do that, you're going to be dealing out the cards as evenly as possible. There's 42 cards to the players. These cards are going to show various numbers on them that match the different color cars that are there. And they'll have from one to six different cars, colors on them. So you're gonna auction off cards and you'll do that by taking one of these speed cards that's an eight for a specific color. So the first car, for example, here, we're auctioning off is green. We're also auctioning off a power. What this one says, you always move your cards even on other people's turns. We'll explain that a little bit later. So we're gonna bid on that. So you're gonna look at your hand of cards so let's say maybe this is my hand of cards, and I want to bid on green. Now, if I want to bid on green, I need to play a card that has green on it. If I don't want to pass and I don't want green, I'll just play a card that doesn't have green. So let's say I play this one here. I'm bidding four on green. Now, if someone else played, whoever plays the highest green is going to get it. But in this case, let's say someone else played this one, they would beat me because there's more colors on their card. So this four would beat that four. Whoever wins it is going to write down here how much they paid for it. So I would write four here in front of green. I would take this card into my hand. The cards that you bid with go back in your hand also. And I would take this marker to show everyone I own the green car. And I would take the special ability card. You will do that for all six cars and the six ability cards. If everyone has to have at least one car. So if it comes down to the last round and there's only one person left, they don't have a car, that person just gets the car for whatever the lowest card in their hand is. So everyone's going to start with a car, and you start with, in, in a sense, negative points. That's the amount you paid for the car. Then the game begins, starting with the person who owns the car on this spot here, so the red card. When you go, you simply play a card from your hand. So this one says, move the green car six spaces first. So all right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then move the red car four spaces. All right, one, two, three, four. When you move, you always go forward or you go diagonally forward. Then this one says two wild. That means any color except green, red, and black. So I might say I'll move yellow two and then move black one. So I move black up one. Sometimes you're not gonna be able to move a car. Let's say green and red are here and yellow is here. Yellow can't go, any, can't go anywhere when it's their turn to move because there's nowhere for them to move or I might move them deliberately into a spot where they can't move as I'm moving the cars, which is why having this special ability of you always move your cars even on other people's turns, if they play a card that moves yellow, you might decide to move that car so it doesn't get in a bad spot. This person's special ability says if you play a card with your car at the top of that card, you go an extra space. If you play a card with all six colors, you can ignore one color on a player's turn. If your car moves only on the rectangular spaces, you go two extra. You can move the cars in reverse order from the lowest to highest. And when you play a card with a wild on it, you can use that wild for color already on the card. Now you're gonna be winning these when you get the cars, but you can only have one that you're gonna use for the race. And remember, as you win the car, you also get an eight speed of that car. Now when the first car passes this yellow line on the board, 
Each person secretly is going to bet on one of the cars that they think will win. When a car passes this one and this one, you will do it a second and third time. As soon as a car passes the finish line, they will go to first place and then second place and third place. Once all your cars are done, you don't play anymore. So it's very possible that because some people aren't playing after a while, that some cars won't finish. Those cars will score nothing. Once all the cars finished, you will get payouts for your cars based on the position that they've gotten in the race. You will also get payouts if the cars you bet on win. So for example, uh, here's two different scoring sheets. On this one, this person only owned a yellow car. They paid four for it. They bet on their own car to win. Then they switched to black. And you can see here that they started with six because their car obviously came in third place. And then they got 12 because their car came in third place here. They got three and then they got six and three because black did come in first place. So nine plus three is 12. So they got 18 and then they lost four points for how much they paid in the auction for a total of 14. Here's another one that's very similar. They have a car, they only paid one for this car, which was low, and, but their car came in third place again, and the cars they bet on, they got 14 for total. And that's it. Whoever has the most at the end of the game is the, at the end of the race is the winner of the game. I should also mention that there is a completely another side of the board. This one here has a lot more choke points and they come earlier. This one's a little bit of a meaner side, but you can play on either side and you play the exact same way. Well, once again, I mean, we got to give them credit. Restoration Games has come out with a bang, especially production-wise. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. The cards are good quality. The the cars, or the cards, I don't know which one I said, but both cars and cards are good quality. <laughs> okay. Um, no, they really are. No, they are. Yeah. Everything looks great. The board is really well laid out. There's no, nothing's ambiguous. It pops. It's cartoony artwork. It looks fantastic on the board. Yeah. On the table, rather. I mean, even... The care that has gone into the box, you know, and then the look and the little shine on some of the printing. Mm -hmm. The whole thing looks like the kind of game you would find at a big box store, you know? Except, mm -hmm. if it was me, and well, I'm going to keep this 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 game a heads up on that, but... Dude, spoiler much? Yeah. Wow, really? There's a lot of sheets of paper. I mean, a lot in this game, but I'm going to laminate like six of them. Sheets yeah. of paper? That was the sheets be, of paper. That was going to be my oh, one the scoring thing. sheets, right. The score sheets. That's my one thing about the production of the game. I hate score sheets. Well, I but just it's... dislike them because you will, if you play it enough, especially if you like it, you're going to run out of them. Yeah, you can laminate them, but I, I, I just wish they would have come up with some other way. Hmm. Uh, I mean, whiteboards. I, um, I'll take, with, I personally, you know, this is a preference, obviously, but um, I'll take score sheets over dry erase. Mm. Pen stand, sitting in that box, and then when you try to try to play it again, it's dry anyway. Okay, I'll no. take that over over the dry erase every time. Would you take that over like tiles, where you like pick the the car that you I like grab things for score? Right. No, I like this better. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I can see how that's fiddly, but anyway, that would be my only minor thing about yeah. components. Yeah, for right. sure. My other minor complaint about the game is that there are six different special abilities for the racers. And I kind of wish there was 12. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so that there'd be different Expansions? ones showing up per race. Yes. Well, I'm sure more will. But that seems like an, an easy thing they could have added is a few more cards just so you don't That's see correct. the same six every time. That is correct. However, they're not, they're like minor powers at best. I don't know. Well, I mean, they make a big deal, but it's not like someone gets one. I'm like, oh, they're going to win. No, hmm. I did not feel that way anyway. I... Which one do you think? You think that wild one is powerful? Yeah. It is pretty powerful, Very the wild powerful, one. Especially if you get the right hand with it. Uh, and again, that's the that's the give and take, I guess. Uh, if you get the wrong hand with that powerful power, it's not going to do you much good. That's true, but there's but a it, lot of wilds. Yeah, there are. I thought all the powers had their thing at the right time. That's that's the problem. I don't They're know. All... After we played that game with you, where you had the power that you could use, you... A while, I could thing, double down on a color. I right? took that power, and I didn't feel like I was going to lose the I, entire game. I lost. I know you did. <laughs> well, the one, I mean, there's the power, even even some of the powers that to me, when I first heard about them, I thought, who cares? Like the one where you can trigger the card backwards. No, that one's one of the coolest Huge. ones. And then you have I mean, aha, you can, that aha You can park somebody like, in the way exactly. with like one or two bumps, yep. and everybody after them just, uh, 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 you just line <laughs> them up right behind you. Right. And that, I, I love that the turns in the game are so quick. I mean, once you've got the, the bidding and all that stuff at the beginning, which is neat, and it's not painful, right? You can quickly set that up. you got cars to 
uh, sort of uh, feel ownership over, right? Which is nice. You you look at the board and you go, yeah, these are mine, right? Or <laughs> one or two, whatever. But then the turns are so fast. It's just to throw card, you know, throw cards out and and move them up the the track, and that's great. I love that. It's a it's a no pun intended a speedy game, uh, and yeah, but you know you say that. And how many racing games have you played where like? Wait a minute, we just it's did like something that took really one minute slow. in three hours. Yeah. Racing yeah. games can be really slow. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. which is one of the trickier, trickier things to get right in a racing game. Right. To have it feel like you are racing. You know, and it's not, oh, wait, stats, this, <clears throat> that, roll that, check it on the chart, do that. It's like, you know, you're not, we're not racing. You know, let's, right. let's, let's go. And then coupled with the bidding when you cross those thresholds. And the diminishing returns, right? You make an early bid, but you don't really know how things are going to pan out quite yet. It's just a solidly built, both gamer game, but but family game. This could work well with families, I think, you know. Uh, maybe not quite very young kids, but I think teenagers and, and maybe even just a, just a hair below that. As long as they understand those special power cards, everything else is pretty easy. Mm -hmm. But you do need to realize going into it that this is a mean game to it some is. degree. It is. You are, you are going to... Park in front of other people and or park one car in front of another car and be like, oh, your car goes six. Guess what? It doesn't go at all. <laughs> Especially the one side of the board. The one side of the board is way meaner than the other right, one. Right. There's and like, it's like three choke points yeah. on the entire board. Right. And I love that, but some people won't. Sure. Some people would find that frustrating. Very much so. Or I guess you can find it frustrating and enjoy it too, though. Yeah, yeah. Why not? I mean, yeah. but... But yes, you want to make sure that you're playing with people that are okay with having that happen to their cars. Yeah, it's definitely a take that game. There's some in, of that. In there, yeah. yeah. But the game is fast, right? Yeah, you said is. that you felt like at some point someone could get out ahead. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I and I still do feel that way. Um, but again, at the same, your your counter to what I said is is true. It's it's so short. It doesn't, you know, big deal. Uh, you'll play you play again right away right. and and now you have a different set of hand you have a different set of cars to go with and so there's the give and take as well there so yeah I, Ooh, do I guess you could add scores up from multiple games that'd be interesting uh, multiple laps even right I do find it interesting that if someone does get ahead especially on the nasty side of the board then let's say it's four people playing three of those people are going to actively not try to move that car whereas the other, one person will, right? They're your, it's your car. But if you are able to like just move them out of the, the choke point and jump around them, they're behind you now at the next choke point. You know what I mean? Possibly. Possibly, I right. Was, but I, was, been, I but, was counting that out the other day, and there, the, even the eight card won't be able to get you from one choke, point, one choke point to the next. Yeah, but three people are actively not trying to move that car is the thing. You True. know what I mean? So I think it does balance out. And, and, and you have your full hand of cards at the beginning. That's the other thing. You know, you know everything you're going to be able to do. There's no die rolling. There's no you play a card, draw a card, which could, you know, be interesting also. But I, I like that you know everything you might be able to do. You know, and, and so you can see a card jump out ahead. And, you know, the orange is way up there. You got an orange six. That's getting shelved for a while, you know. I might hopefully not have to play it. Or maybe I'll play it exactly when they're going to just move one. You know, pff, there you go. You waste it. I, th I find all that interesting. There, there is, is some planning for how quick the game is. You there know? is. I agree. So what's your final thoughts here? My final thoughts on this one is uh, going to be um, for a family game. Uh, this is uh, uh, two pistons up for me uh, for a family game. For a gamer's game, it's probably uh, one between one and one and a half. Uh, I think for it's it's a great fit for families, um, um, and I would readily recommend it at any point for a family. Gamers, I don't know. I don't know. I think they might get into the whole betting the aspect. Even though my car's way back here, I can bet on everybody else's and try to win that way. Yeah, right, that might right. that might catch on, but I think that's still a little bit too light for most gamer gamers that are out there. So I I, I mean I think it's good anyway, but uh, definitely more for a family game than I, I think than, than gamers. My favorite racing game, or one of my favorite racing games, is Ave Caesar. Mm -hmm. This one has a lot of similarities in mm -hmm. choke points yes. and card play. Yes. And I like this one better, actually. I'll give this one two checker flags up, <laughs> um, and that's for everybody. Because, yes, I agree with Sam. Very strong family game. 
But this is also the kind of game that when I'm like, hey, you know, we just played Caverna. Let's play Downforce. And I played this with some of the heaviest gamers I know, like Jason and Sean, and they all really liked it. And I mm -hmm. like that, too, because that makes me feel better, like, oh, okay, the math works out, the numbers, because those right. people care about that. I'm just right. in it for the fun. Right. And even if I lose, I'm like, oh, let's do it again. And I'm cool with that. Really, my, I wish I'd played this before. My thing would be, though, uh, with that is that I wonder how many times you're going to come back to the game. Well, I'm keeping it, so... I understand you are, but I wonder how much a gamer, gamer, those guys that really like those heavy games, how many times they might play it and say, oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Are they going to come back to it? Are mm -hmm. they going to want to play it some more? And I don't think so. I think they're going to say, yeah, it was fine, and then move on to something else. And, well, it's and my most played game that. of the week for me. Oh, that's but, cool. I really liked it also. I kind of feel the way Sam does a little bit, um, where I think for a family or maybe not, you know, uh, hobby gamers, I think this is really, really solid. And everything works together well. Whereas for gamers, yeah, maybe the, the powers are going to get a little samey after a few plays. You know, they'll, they'll start debating whether one thing is balanced versus another, which I don't think, you know, they're fine. You know, it's... it's it, I'm sure you could, like... You know, race a hundred times and then keep statistics on that. Don't do that. <laughs> Just enjoy the game. Don't do that. You know? But, so I feel like, you know, again, the two thumbs up for me would be for, for that setting. Uh, you know, I could play with my family, but then one and a half or so for uh, gamers. But I'm going to split the difference. I'm just going to round up. You guys took all the fun stuff. I don't even know what to go with here. So I'm going to go with uh, two burn... Rubber tracks up. Oh, I was wondering where he was going with that. Two, two wrecked Formula Ones. Wow. wow that's super dark, Z. Really dark place, two dude. spectators perfectly uh, unharmed up. <laughs> Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Z Garcia. Thanks. Sam Healy. See you on the flip side, folks. Thanks for watching our review today. For more information about board games, as well as the number one board game audio podcast, check out Dicetower.com for reviews, interviews, and more. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.